Hello, fifth graders. Um, I am coming to you here on Sunday night. Um, uh, the night before you'll be seeing this, or a couple days before you'll be seeing this, um, and working through um, the Math Identity Project that I'm going to introduce. Um, again, um, for those of you that may have missed it, I will be gone all week this coming week and probably gone on the following Monday. Remember, I only have school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Um, then we have a long weekend and then the following Monday. I don't think I'll be back, but hopefully back on Tuesday. Um, you are watching this video because you have just finished um, the math lesson with Mrs. Stage. Um, and hopefully um, you are watching this video because you have finished your assignment um, for 1.7. Um, you took a picture of that assignment, the 1.7 assignment, so all nine problems, and you submitted it to the 1.7 assignment that is in your math Schoology course. Um, that all should be done um, before you get to this video. If you're watching this video and that is not done, I would pause um, and go back and get that 1.7 assignment done take a picture of it and submit it to the 1.7 assignment. Once you have that done, then you will be, um, again, watching this video to go through the directions. Um, the Math Identity Project is something you're going to do um, in the next couple of days. It'll be due when I get back, so it won't be due until the 24th of October, so don't worry about turning it in. Um, but basically, what you'll do is you go into your Schoology course. I'm just gonna use Pottinger Math as my Schoology course. So I click into my Schoology course. Um, and you will see a folder called um, Math Identity. Um, so the Math Identity folder um, will be open um, by the time you're seeing this video. When you click into the Math Identity folder, there are four different things. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is the Math Identity Quiz. This isn't a quiz that I will be grading, in you, grading you on. It'll be a quiz um, just to give me an idea about you and how you feel about yourself and math. So if you click into the Math Identity Quiz, um, you will see that there are a total of nine questions. I'm going to go to preview mode. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the questions, um, um, but like number one, super simple. Do you like math? Yes or no? Um, again, I um, it doesn't matter to me if you do or not. I mean, it does matter to me if you like math or not because my goal is to make you like math if you don't. Um, but I haven't been with you long enough where I feel like I have had any bearing on whether or not you like math or not. Um, so just pick. Yes, I like math. No, I don't. Um, number two, answer the question. Um, three, again, answer the question. Four, five, six, what makes a good math student, um, in your opinion. Um, seven will be a very interesting one for me to, to read. Describe the characteristics of a great math teacher. And then number eight would be interesting for me to read as well. Describe the characteristics of a bad or a poor math teacher. Um, so again, you're going to go through and answer these questions um, to the best of your ability. Um, be very honest. Um, go ahead when you're all done, submit, and then I will have a chance to read through um, your math identity quiz. When you're all done with that, we're going to get to the fun part of the project. Um, the second thing here, the my identity in numbers, this little, um, um, oh boy, the little pencil there, um, that is where you're going to turn in your assignment when you're all done. Um, it also has all the directions that I'm about to go through. So if you um, have watched this video and you just need to refresh your memory on the directions and you can't remember what I said and you don't want to go back to the video, you can just go into the assignment and it has the six steps for the directions. Um, but I do need you to watch this entire video um, so that I can explain how this is all going to work. So basically what we're going to do, you guys, is we are going to create, um, and I will show you here in a second, um, we are going to um, use this document and we are going to make um, a little poster about ourself. Um, in order to do that though, we need to upload this document. It's a PDF into Notability. So what you can do is I'm going to show you how to get your Notability set up to put this in. Um, you can pause and do this one step at a time um, if you'd like. So we can pause throughout um, the course of the video. Um, everyone's going to open up their Notability um, and you guys already have a math um, a divider, a math divider. Um, it's right here. So I'm just opening and closing it. Inside your math divider, you have your IXL homework um, subject. You are going to go ahead and on the math divider, you're going to hold your finger and you're going to add another subject. And the subject is going to be called math identity. So again, you can pause if you want to pause and do this and then come back to the video and continue working. You can watch the whole thing. You can watch parts of it and stop whatever you want to do. But basically, I need you to have the math identity um, subject and I want you to change it so it's red. So I'm going to save it as red. Okay, so now in your math divider, you should have two subjects, math identity, and you should already have IXL homework in there. I'm going to go back into Schoology then. I'm going to click on the My Identity and Numbers, and I'm going to upload it. So I'm going to use the Upload button up here. Um, I'm going to upload it into um, Notability. So click on Notability, 
we're going to create a new note and I want it to get the subject. I want the subject to be in the math identity. Um, this, I want the, the note to go into the math identity subject. The note title should already be there for you. My math identity and numbers. Go ahead and click import, click done. Um, go into your notability and go in your math identity and there it is. Go ahead and open it up and now you have the ability to um, edit it, change it, make it how you want to make it. Um, so basically what it is, um, it is four boxes um, and on the very top you are going to, actually before I talk about the four boxes, you're going to go ahead and write your name. So I'm going to write Brent, whoopsies, mark my, mark my marker, where am I going to write? Um, my math identity and number, and number, and I'll go ahead and write my first name and last name. Please don't forget this. If you turn this in, I don't know um, whose it is, then it will be awful hard for me to um, learn more about you and your math identity. Um, so what you're going to do, guys, is you are going to, in the first box, you're going to select an integer. In the second box, you're going to select a variable. In the third box, you're going to select a decimal or a fraction. And in the fourth box, you're going to have your choice of anything, anything related to math. Could be a operational sign, it could be another variable, could be another decimal or fraction, integer, um, negative number, whatever you want. So you are going to choose um, each of those four things, but each of those four things need to represent you. So for example, um, if I were to choose, I'm gonna erase these, um, if I were to do the integer first, um, I want to pick the integer eight. Um, I'm gonna pick the integer eight, I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. You can go ahead and be fancy and you can like decorate your eight. I just don't want you to put eight here and then write blah, 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 a couple explanations about why you are a couple of sentences or a couple words about why you chose eight. Um, I want you to be as creative as you can possibly can. I'm not big into drawing or into um, art or any of that. I'm not like all that great at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click out and I'm going to go into um, Safari and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to type in the number um, eight. And I'm going to find an image. Go ahead and click an image. And I'm going to find a number eight that I think is really cool. So I like this number eight right there. So I'm going to click on it. I'm actually going to hold my finger right here on the image. It's not working. Oh, no. Let me close this again. Let me go back to my number eight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold my finger on the image. There we go. I'm going to save this image to my photos. So save it to my photos. I'm going to go back into my notability. Um, I am going to click up here. Um, I'm sorry, nope. I'm going to click down here onto the images. I'm going to choose the number eight. And there we go. I have it now. I can resize the, oopsies. I can resize the eight. Sorry, guys. I can resize the eight and I can slide it to where I want it to go. I want it to go right up in here. Um, and I still think I can make it even fancier. So I am going to add. Um, some stars, Ooh, and you guys will probably make, you guys will make this much prettier than I am. And then I'm going to write my explanation. Why did I choose the number eight? Um, I chose the number eight because oh wait, that doesn't look very pretty, does it? So I'm going to actually erase that, and I'm going to um, create a text box. Go ahead and create a text box. Oopsies, I'm going to slide my text box right here under my explanation because I feel like I can actually make this um, prettier if I type it. I'm going to write, I chose the number eight because blah, blah, blah. There. And I'm just going to finish this so I don't take too much of your time. Um, because there are eight children in my family, I'm one of eight children. So eight is an inter integer that represents me because I am one of eight children in my family. For the variable, I'm going to choose something else. And again, I would suggest using um, Safari and using your clip art. So I might choose the letter X and then say I chose the letter X because whatever. Um, decimal or fraction, you can write any decimal or any fraction that represents you. And then you again, you have your choice, um, an operational sign, another number, another variable, whatever it might be. So when you are done with all of this, you will have an integer, a variable, a decimal, or a fraction, your choice, and you'll have an explanation of each about why that number or that variable or that decimal or that fraction represents you. Um, make it look as pretty as you can. Make it look as neat as you can. Be as artistic as you can. My goal is to display these somewhere in the school. I'm not quite sure where yet, but um, I would expect you to put some time into these, especially since I'm giving you time in class. 
If you need some ideas or if you're wondering um, about what some other people have done, you can go into your Schoology course and I actually have a few examples here um, from previous years. So I'll pick Megan S here from a couple years ago. Um, she chose the integer 11 and you can see why she chose the integer 11. She chose the variable S and she shows why. She chose a fraction 7 out of 13. Um, she actually did an equation. I love that. And so for her choice, she did an equation. Um, Putu from a couple years ago as well. Um, she used a symbol for her choice. Um, her integer was 1072 and you can see why it was very creative about why she chose 1072 if you read the explanation and so on and so forth. Um, I'm not going to go through the other two examples, but there are four total examples for you to look at um, if you need some ideas. Please don't copy though. Come up with your own creative and unique ideas. When you are done with that, if you do want to turn it into my math identity and numbers, you certainly can. I'm sorry. If you can turn it into the assignment called my identity and numbers, um, same way we have been turning things in all year so far, um, that would be great. You don't necessarily have to turn it in because it will not be due until um, later uh, until when I get back. So to review you guys, um, you should only be doing this assign or be working on this video or watching this video if you've already finished your 1.7 assignment and you turned it in. Um, FYI, your 1.7 assignment should be turned in right into this folder. Homework, if you go into school, you'll see the 1.7 homework. So get that um, a picture of that, make sure it's a clear picture, turn it in, and then go ahead and start working on your math identity project. Um, you will get directions from Mrs. Hart and you will also have directions via my update. Um, be good this week. Um, I'll see you guys all next week. Um, and please work hard and get all of your math done. Thanks all.